Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are in the girls room. <laughs> Give this video a huge thumbs up if you know what I am referencing or if you are a 90s slash early 2000 baby. But as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be doing my maintenance for my birthday coming up. I cannot believe it. Like time literally flies. If you are young, believe when people tell you don't rush growing up it will just all go so quick they're not lying i am literally enjoying the last year of being in my 20s yeah but i'm so grateful i'm so blessed i'm so thankful god is amazing i'm just so happy to have made it this far in life very thankful for life and very thankful for you guys and now you guys should know i am a certified diy girly okay Therefore, I will be doing all my maintenance by myself. And I'm not gonna lie, I love a good princess treatment, going to the spa. That is my vibe, okay? But I am the kind of girl that will go to the spa and try to memorize the method that they use, the products that they use, the tools that they use, and try to imitate it for myself. Like, that's just who I am, okay? It is what it is. So I actually find the pleasure of taking that money I would probably spend on the service and pretty much getting all of the products and able to just do that as many times as I would like in the comfort of my own home. And that's just how I'm feeling for this birthday. Sometimes I let the professionals do everything and other times I do it all myself. And that is what we are doing in this video. Every good maintenance needs a haul. So I went to Target. <laughs> I got a brow pencil from e.l.f. This is in the shade Deep Brown. This used to be my go-to product. It just really gets the job done and it's so affordable. Then I wanted to try e.l.f.'s Poreless Putty Primer. I heard so many good things about this product so I just wanna try it out for myself. From e.l.f. I also got their Brow Lift product. I really like brow gels and things like that so I just wanna test this one out as well. I already did my brows a few days ago in preparation of my birthday photo shoot so they're still pretty groomed but those products just get them looking like chef's kiss all the way together you know then from nyx i got their finishing spray and their dewy finish i haven't tried this specific one out before i typically use their matte finish but i want to look dewy this year <laughs> then i got this four pack set of lip balm from burt's bees the scents slash flavor um, really stood out to me, so I wanted to try them. I got tropical pineapple, coconut pear, dragon fruit lemon, berry agua fresca. So that should be exciting. Then I got some lip gloss from Burt's Bees as well. I just want to be a little more aware of things that I put on on a daily and lip products are one of those things. So I got the shade Summer Twilight 245. This one is my favorite. It's very subtle, but it has a beautiful tint to it if you're my skin tone. And then I also got the Sunny Day 221. This is not bad. It's just more on the peachy side, not necessarily clear. So I would recommend like a lip liner or a nude lipstick underneath it, but definitely not bad. And then last but not least, I got these two products from Shea Moisture. I never thought I would see the day, y'all, but I got an anti-dandruff leave-in. So my scalp isn't giving, like, snowstorm, but it's definitely giving dry and flaky on certain days. And I don't like that. So we need to take some precaution and, and get it out of here, okay? Because it's not welcomed. I definitely think it's a dehydration thing and I have to drink more water. So this is their apple cider vinegar anti-dandruff leave-in. So I'm really excited to try this out and this will be really perfect for the hairstyle I am planning. And the last thing I got was their scalp moisture shampoo. Like I said, it's not giving a critical case of dandruff, but my scalp does look and feel very dry. So I think this is going to help. It says hydrate scalp eight times moisturized hair. So we shall see. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put henna into my natural hair. This is a headband wig right now. Um, but I'm not going to film that. I can do a whole separate video. It can be a little messy, but it's a great natural product to put in your hair, especially when it comes to a dry, flaky scalp. So I'm trying to just be very preventative when it comes to that. So 
I'm gonna do that treatment for a few hours and then the only thing I won't be doing myself in this video is braiding my hair which is going to be the star of the show in my mind. I have this specific hairstyle that I want to try out. I got all my Pinterest photos and I'm gonna show it to my mom and we're gonna work on that together and then I'm gonna show you guys the final result of that and then we're gonna move forward into all the other cutesy stuff in preparation of my birthday dinner y'all I am really getting up there in age but I am so blessed I'm so thankful and grateful to be seeing another year of life at one point, I didn't think I would see it this far, honestly. Thank you, Father God, and thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I will be back. All right, guys, so now for the beauty supply haul. This is pretty self-explanatory, so we're going to speed through everything. But I will say this was my first time using some non-toxic braiding hair. And then I got some Shine Jam along with this braid gel that was recommended online for a lot of tutorials that I saw. And I love this edge booster. It smells so good, by the way. Hi my loves, so I think it was only right for me to include a portion of my brow routine into my DIY birthday maintenance vlog. So I'm going to come up really close with you guys. As you can see, my brows are outgrown, okay? It has been months. This is not going to be a tutorial at all, it's just a little behind the scenes, you know? You can see the before and I'm going to show you guys the after. Fun fact, I have never professionally done my eyebrows, so I just kind of go with what works for me. And I don't like to touch my brows too often, so I keep it very minimal. I don't do too much plucking, tweezing, all that. All right, you guys, just like that, my brows are done and they were not painful at all. Just a good old tweeze um, and the scissors and voila. I did try the razor, but <laughs> barely, honestly. I was just not trying to do too much. I see where y'all are going with it, but for me personally, I was too scared because what if I sneeze? Whole brow gone. Anyways, they are not perfect, but they definitely work for me. They're nice and groom. But yeah, you guys, that is it. That is the final look. All right, y'all, avoid the appearance, but let's get into this food, okay? I don't know about y'all, but when I do my hair, we need to have good food and good snacks, and that is what we did, y'all. Look at this food. <laughs> this looks so good. As I've been so into barilla tacos lately, delicioso. <laughs> You guys, I literally burnt my tongue eating these tacos. That's how good they were. Y'all, my mom did an incredible job and I am so obsessed, but it is not the final look. We are going to trim this hair. We are gonna put some mousse on my hair. I'm most likely gonna oil my hair as well with the Shea Moisture Anti-Dandruff Leave-In. Oh, and we're going to add some beads to the end of the hair. And of course, when I'm going out, I'm going to be doing my edges. So the final, final look is going to be coming shortly. So this is the night before my birthday preparation. So I'm just going to pretty much prep everything, starting with the hair. So I'm going in with this dandruff serum slash leave-in from Shea Moisture and you guys 10 out of 10 I really enjoyed this product then I'm going in with a setting mousse and if you are not new to my channel you know that braids and I go together real real bad but believe it or not I don't apply mousse like that as you can see I was making a mess, honey, okay? I'm like, how much is too much? But I felt for cornrows, I really needed to set the look. And I really like the results of this. 
As you can see, I have the cute little edge brushes, but for my 4C hair, honey, I like a good brand new toothbrush. I seriously have toothbrushes specifically just for my hair, because look at this, look at the material. <laughs> then you're gonna wanna blow dry your hair after you put your silk scarf on. Y'all, I got this little, you know, dupe <laughs> vibe going on. It's so silky and I really love how it sets my hair. And I love to multitask, so I figured I'm gonna do some white strips at the same time and leave this on for about 45 minutes. I have not whitened my teeth in years, so I felt like it was time for a little boost. And now it's time for my luxury at home spa experience. <laughs> We're going to start off with our cleanser. I will state all the products that I use in the description box below. And then we're going to steam and extract, okay? I also have this exfoliator that I just got from Good Molecules. Really like that. Then I'm going in with a clay mask that is supposed to help you clear your pores. You let this dry for about 15 minutes and then you rinse it off. I really enjoy that mask, by the way. My skin felt so clean and smooth. Then I'm going in with a toner just to brighten things up. And y'all, this serum is expensive, okay? But it is so clean and it is amazing. I love it and I only use it on special occasions. I will tag it below if you're interested. Then I'm gonna follow up with a thick moisturizer. And then I'm going to top it with a sleep mask. This just really locks in the moisture to me. When my skin is feeling extra dehydrated, I like to incorporate this step. And y'all, it was giving moisturized, okay? And then I'm gonna follow up with my brow butter that I created myself. It keeps my brows so healthy, full, and thick. If you wanna find out how I do it, let me know in the comments below. Then I'm gonna moisturize my lips, remove those white strips, and then go in with the eye serum, okay? Cause your girl is tired. And then that is it for the night. All right, so it's officially the next day. It is time to celebrate. As you can see, we tried the beads and I don't know if it was the style of the beads, the way I had all the hair in the front because it wasn't trimmed. Like we didn't want it to all be even, but overall it wasn't giving for me in that moment. <laughs> And I only had a few hours to spare because it was the day of the event. Guys, the day is finally here. I will be celebrating my birthday today and having some lunch. Um, I have my white strips on again. This is day two. And let me take these off, y'all, because I am a proud four-eye girly. However, whenever I'm editing, the glare from the lights on my glasses it bothers me so much so half the time if i have anything on my face or like i'm my eyes are like going all over the place i probably don't have all my contacts and i'm just winging it um but yeah i'm not going to talk too much because i am running on time i'm a little early right now but y'all know how that goes when you think you're early and then you just talk too much vibe too much to music and you're like oops i'm running late as you can see, I decided not to go with the beads. They were cute, but honestly, this is a vibe in itself. And I'm probably just gonna put some random beads in my hair and like some gold accessories. We'll see what I end up doing. But I'm gonna go and take my everything shower. Um, nothing too crazy, but I'm just gonna be adding some exfoliation in there today. So I have my African mesh. I recently added natives sweet peach and nectar body wash to my routine i'll add my youtube shorts if you want to see what my current routine is looking like As you may know i want to incorporate more cleaner products especially when it comes to like what i'm putting on my body every day and this was pretty clean it's not the cleanest but it's pretty clean and it smells so good and i love the lather of this so far this has been a fave of mine but yeah you guys i'm gonna come back on as y'all know, I'm not a makeup artist at all. I'm just going to show you guys the entire look that we've been working on for the past few days. All right. I'll see you soon. All right, so I'm going to create like a laminated look using Elf's Brow Lift, but you can use any brow pomade or gel for this. I will attach my YouTube Shorts tutorial if you're interested. Then I'm gonna fill my brows a bit, and y'all, this makeup tutorial is giving early YouTube vibes, okay? When the makeup girlies were showing us how to make our brows stand out, the concealer, all that. And as you can see, I totally forgot about the primer. 
So I was trying to still get that bad boy in and incorporate it in some way. All right, you guys, I'm actually running late at this point now. I have like 20 minutes. I have to do my nails. I have the most beautiful press on nails that I picked for this special moment. So I'm going to put this setting spray and hopefully this melts this entire look together. Um, I'm going to do like a lip. I don't know what, like a dark lip, I think, or like a neutral lip. I'll show you the final look and then I'm going to get changed. Um, I love wearing like loose tops like this so it doesn't like mess my face up when I put on my outfit. And this will be the scent of the day. I'm loving this. My mom got it for Christmas and it just brings back memories. This used to be my perfume when I was younger. Um, so yeah, let's finish off this look. Oh, and I have so many cute accessories. So I'm going to come back with the final look. The earrings, the necklaces, the everything so yeah y'all i gotta rush now this is the final look i'm gonna see if i can get um a video with the entire dress for you or at least add some pictures i might put some more like um accessories in my hair this is the route i went for i just tried to do like a neutral look y'all and then these are my rings i have africa queen nefertiri this is a row of animals like the elephant, the giraffe, you can't really see it though. Then I have my Africa necklace, it has a elephant. I love this necklace so much. And then a Queen Nefertiri necklace as well. You guys know how it is when chains are like the same length, which I don't like, but I had this vision, so I'm just gonna like pull it up. Now for the nails, y'all, I have 10 minutes, so thank goodness these are press on. So I'm gonna just show y'all later. Y'all, these are so beautiful. I'm like speechless. Art, literal art. So I'm gonna apply that to my nails and then I am done. The girl is tired and hungry. These are the booties I'll be wearing. They're from True Religion and they aren't the most comfy, but <laughs> they're beautiful. I have heels that were gonna match my clutch exactly, but I kinda wanna go with the winter vibe and wear these booties. All right, my loves, we finally made it to the end. I mean, get into the accessories, baby. The details are giving. I love the nails, the bag, everything. It just it gives. What do you guys think? <laughs> Like I mentioned earlier, I did end up rushing, so I totally forgot to capture a lot of videos or even vlog the event, but overall, it was a 10 out of 10 birthday. But your girl did get a candid video and some photos, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in my next video.